Uh, so what about the applications for CO2? I mean, oh, I, I assume, you know, at the, at the, at my house, I'd like to put a CO2 heat pump that you were talking about. That's probably not going to happen, but where would you see one? Oh yeah, it will happen. They have them at your house. If you could have them. I'll take one then. Where's this, yeah. at, where's this thing at? It's not at Johnstone. No, no not yet. But, <laughs> um, they started back in 2000 in Japan doing, um, CO2, um, water heaters and heat pumps back in 2000 i think so that's 22 years ago and uh you'll see them in applications so ice rink applications you can see them so there's a direct and indirect co2 systems where it's actually all co2 in the system and it use co2 compressors and it pumps co2 out to the ice indirect would be using like uh hfc uh, high side primary side and then you have co2 pumped out kind of like a glycol system if you know what a Ever heard of a glycol system? There is in supermarkets transcritical booster systems. So that is all 100% CO2. So on the medium temp side and the low temp side, then you have cascade systems where you would have say a synthetic or an HFC or an HFO on the primary side, and then you'd have CO2 like direct expansion on the secondary side. And what else is there? There's CO2 pump systems. And then the, this is where it's you're pumping CO2 kind of like a glycol out to the system, but it's more efficient than glycol because you're getting both the sensible heat transfer as well as latent heat transfer in those evaporators. And so you see the heat chillers now, pro refrigeration. Got one in, I think in Seattle, they built the first, one of the first ones in North America. They may not be the first or they may be. I'm going to do a podcast with... Uh, with Damon, who's their lead guy there in a few weeks, but they got a chiller. So in chiller applications, you see them in pop uh, fridges. I've seen them in like Coca-Cola, little small mini fridges. Oh, so interesting. I, so small <laughs> applications too. I've never heard of them in small applications. Well, I've never heard of most of the stuff you just said, actually. <laughs> um, but here, here's my best guess at trying to ask you if what I have learned here is correct, and it's not going to be. So let's get past that right now. So you just described like seven different things uh, very quickly and the different CO2 systems. And you're saying pumping them out like glycol, meaning that the medium that you're pumping out, like a chiller would pump out water, it said you're pumping out CO2. That's right. So you're using a circulator and it's circulating that liquid CO2 through to your cases or through your evaporators or your coils, I guess. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.